Hello there guys, Billaway10k here bringing you another episode of Lux Perpetua. In this episode, I'm gonna kind of break away from the normal path, and I'm gonna try and get us over to that tower over there, because I think that's our, uh, that's our next goal, but I don't necessarily know the best way to get over there. You see, the issue is that I feel like maybe there was meant to be like a secret path that would take me in that direction, but I didn't know how to access like the bottom of the fountain or whatever it was. So instead, I guess I'm just gonna travel over there on foot because we've seen where this place is. There's no point in me um, overthinking it. Uh, if there's, if I don't have like any idea of where I'm supposed to be right now, then I'm just gonna travel on foot and see what happens and whatever happens, happens. We know where the signal tower is, so let's go. And hopefully I haven't sequence broken, because if I've sequence broken, I'll be very sad. I mean, I want to see what that is, but it, it, cause it feels like everything, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back and I'm going to break that sand that was underneath the fountain in Vasafallen, because I feel like they said, like, the path to the next signal fire was under the fountain. And yet I looked, and there was nothing there. Like, there was nothing to put anything down on. There was no, like, secret path to use. There was nothing. So I, I felt something on my shirt and panicked there for a second, sorry. Um, so I want to know, like, am I just going crazy? Or do I literally just have to run over there like a normal person? Because it feels like that's not what this was trying to get us to do. Like, maybe there's, like, a secret path around here in this bit of the fountain. I don't know. That's not a secret path, but that's a thing. Oh, there's no actual way back up. Shit. Uh, oh, no, there is. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna break the sand in the center of the fountain. I'm curious. I want to know if that's what the issue was here. If that's what I needed to do, because this is such a fancy fountain, it feels like something here had to happen. I feel like this, like, it's sand, so it feels like, I feel like it should have dropped, and none of the sand dropped, and maybe that's the issue. I'm gonna drown. Alright, we're gonna just keep, keep digging. I'm not gonna stop, because I'm curious. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There was supposed to be something here. Aha. So there was meant to be something here. I just... I didn't find whatever it was I needed to do to actually make that sand fall. I knew I'd missed something. So let's... Make some progress, shall we? Whoa! I love how there's no minecart sounds. The minecart sounds just said bye. Yep, I think we just need to keep pushing back. And I think the rail will have flipped now. Yep, so we can go this way. Whee! Fuck you, zombie. Woo! Well, we're not going back along the rail again, are we? No, no, no. Oh, this is cool. All right. I'm intrigued. This looks freaking cool. And it seems like there was a, a, a minecart button to go backwards if we wanted to. So clearly that means at some point we're going to want to go back. Uh, but I wonder if I can just go along the overworld instead. Because that rail track is going to be destroyed because of the creeper there. This is a very cool corridor, though. I know it's only made out of a few blocks, but for this, like, part of Minecraft, yeah, kind of cool. I think it's going to lead me straight to that final tower, so I'm really glad that I went and rechecked everything. Oh, no! Oh, no, we've been blocked! Shit, I didn't even realize. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, cool. There's no going back. If we die... Doesn't matter. We're fucked. Great. Damn, I don't even know where we are anymore. I see a I see a 
path down there. That must be the Murphy's Mansion. Oh, okay, we're going to the mansion area. Nice. All right. Let's freaking go. I'm down to meet Mr. Murphy in his mansion. Hi. I saw you spawn. Bye. And this will hopefully take us on the way to the final signal tower. So... Yeah, nice. Nope. Go away. This is my house. Let me put all this away. Uh, except the bow. I need the bow. Oh, maybe the spider's inside the mansion. That would make some sense. Run away. Don't let them get you. Oh, fuck. Do I... Do I have to... Do, do I really have to? Do I have to? Are we certain there's spiders in there? Can I not just, like, go around... Can I not just, like, avoid the spiders? Is that not an option? It's a cool-looking dungeon, though, to be fair. I just- I hate the sounds. Hmm. Well, let me get a drink of water, and then when I come back, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> okay, I'm back, and I want to go and take a look at that signal tower. I think we missed that signal tower. Or we missed something to do with that signal tower, and I want to quickly go and take a little look, because I feel like it's a bit of a big thing that we missed it, when, like, lighting the signal towers was kind of, like, our goal. So, I'm just gonna run back over here. And I'm gonna quickly- oh, we could have just got up to it from here. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Yeah, I want to go- I want to go in there. I want to go in there and see what's at the top. I want to see if there's something that's been written there. See if there's any information for us, you know, that sort of thing. A map here. Uh, and this map is... Professor Stewart's Diary. I've stopped at the signal tower outside Wasserfallen to gather some mushrooms for a tasty soup. Wait, what's that over there? Is that the old Murphy house? I heard there's ghosts living in there. Oh! The old Murphy house is a ghost town. Okay. I heard spiders, but maybe... Maybe I had to worry about the ghosts. Finally, all signal towers are lit. Not long until help will arrive from overseas, I hope. Okay, so I guess that was our, our plan, was get some help because we were in that shipwreck at the start. Fair enough. There's also, like, what looks like a house down there, but I don't necessarily know... Oh, there's the, the stairs here. Oh my god, I missed these. Wow, okay. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's go and have a little look at what's down here first. And then once we've seen what's down here, then we can go to Murphy's place and we can deal with that spider that I was hearing. I doubt it's going to be a spider spawner. It seemed like a very, like, enclosed location there. But maybe there could be some scary things. I don't know. I don't know what I've been told, but things are scary. Yes, they are. Am I using the right texture pack? Right, because I feel like some of the textures just haven't worked with this pack. Like... Some of them are just conflicting with, uh, with, like, the basic Minecraft textures. I feel like some of, like, a lot more things were meant to be more medieval than they actually are. Which, you know what, fair enough. I still think this map looks quite nice, uh, for what it is, uh, even without the texture pack. But, you know, I'm glad that some things were changed, just for a little bit of fun. But, uh... I did look at a few screenshots of the map on the thread, and I feel like, yeah, a lot more was supposed to be different. Uh, so yeah, I guess that was just like an extra little thing there. Cool. Okay, Murphy's Mansion. We've gotten all the signal fires, uh, all the signal towers have been lit. So now we just need to go through this mansion, deal with whatever's in there, and then whatever comes next, comes next. So I've got... Like, I'm set. I am set to handle this place. So you know what? Fuck it. 
What's in here? Alright, here's zombies. Cool. I'm not hearing any spiders anymore, which makes me think the spider that was uh, really audible that I could hear was maybe a spider that was outside. Oh, soul sand. Okay. Alright. A little bit of soul sand to climb along. I can hear some zombies around. I guess maybe they, they're the ghosts of the mansion. That would make a lot of sense. Yep. Oh, maybe that's why the zombies are like they are. Maybe it was actually purposeful to have the zombies be like floating heads because, I mean, I doubt it was actually purposeful, but, you know, it would make a little bit of sense. Um, oh, I have redstone. I don't know why. Um, Professor Stewart's diary. This house is terrible. I've only been here for one night and I've never been as scared sleeping as I am now. Tomorrow I'll look for a way out of this nightmare. I guess he must have got locked in as well. Poor dude. All right, let's uh, continue our way through this house of horrors. Aha! We found our way further down to a different part of the house. This is a cool little location though, I like it. It kind of reminds me of like a CTM dungeon almost, just in terms of its layout. Okay, this is clearly the parkour room. go. But with all the vines, it actually makes parkour incredibly difficult. Oh, I can just do this jump normally. I don't need to... For fuck's sake, that was so dumb. Lamau. LMAO. As the kids would say. I guess that was maybe like meant to be like a, a, a sort of pseudo checkpoint. But yeah, this, this room's been pretty easy so far. I'm not... I'm not complaining about the fact that I am able to just use these ladders to bypass the parkour side of things. Maybe that was, like, something they added. Maybe they were like, okay, people are complaining about the parkour being, like, somewhat difficult, so we're just gonna add these so that you can't complain anymore. Like, we've made it easy. Stop complaining. There we go. Alright. We are making our way downtown. Moving fast, moving far. Oh, no way we don't get attacked in here. No way in hell. Yep, yep. I figured. That was like the first thing I thought of in this area, because I mean, it's like, it's a mossy cobblestone like dungeon style thing. The trick, though, is that I have to deal with a spider now. Okay, cool. Didn't think I'd be dealing with a spider in this dungeon. Or maybe the spider just, like, naturally spawned. That could also be a very valid point. Oh my god, this place is... Making me a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh my god, fucking... Oh my god! There are spawners everywhere. Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Oh my god, cave of spiders! No! 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 No, 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 no! It's my worst nightmare! It's my worst nightmare! I'm eating a golden apple and I'm gonna get a friggin' now. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this entire world. Fuck it. I'm not entirely sure what it wants me to do here. Everything's broken. I am fearful for my life. 
Okay, it feels like this is the direction it wants me to go. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Fuck it. I'm skipping things. I'm- fuck this. Uh... I'm raking through the floor. And you can't stop me. I mean, maybe you can stop me, but... Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about this right now. I'm- I'm just so uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I feel awful that I'm doing this, but I just- I can't. I can't. I needed to get out of there. I needed to get out. I needed to get out. My fight or flight reactions were just screeching, basically. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna break through here just so that I can kind of see where I came out of. But yeah, I need I needed to get out. I couldn't. I couldn't. I just I couldn't. There was a little bit too much going on in there, and I got a little bit too shaky, and I got a little bit too panicky. And I, I couldn't. I just couldn't focus. Although, to be fair, a creeper did kind of show me the way out. So you could always use that as, like, a... a thing. That being said, I am a little bit concerned that I don't really know, like, what the- like, if I missed a story beat or something. Well, let's see what's behind here anyway, just to have a bit of a laugh. And then afterwards, we can take the minecart track and we can go somewhere. Oh, okay, that's just- it was just us escaping the house. Okay, got it. Cool. Well, I think I know where this is going to take us, actually, because there's only one station we've seen so far. Professor Stewart's diary. Finally found a way out of that horrible house. I found an old document in the house's library. I finally know why the Tree of Light is ill. The truth lies under the tree itself. Also, I have detected traces of wool on the whales. It seems as if the shepherd was here before me. I guess he came to the same conclusion as me. He probably even knows where the entrance to the tree could be. I should probably look for hints around his little house in Sky Den. The shepherd's house. All right. Well, let's head back to Skyden because that's that's the only place that we've seen a station that we can actually stay at. Uh, because there was a station right by Shopper's Alley, and I was thinking, oh, that'll be like where it wants us to go um, if we wanted to come back and do some shopping. But no, that's just where it's gonna dump us off, so we can get back to Skyden so that we can see what's going on. Yeah, that house was horrific. Um, that house was traumatic, and I'm never going back in there again. I'll be curious to go back in that in game mode 3, uh, in a different version, just so that I can kind of see what was going around in that house. I want to know exactly what the correct path through was, but the thing is that creeper blew up the, the room, and, and by then I kind of saw, oh, that's the way out, because there was, like, a pathway leading down out of the house, so I'm like, well... Why should I have to go the real way when the creeper blew up a nice little path for me there? Speaking of creepers... Whoa! Okay, alright. This is pretty cute. Let's not dump me into a mob-filled room, please. I'm not prepared right now. Mentally, physically, emotionally... Not ready for that. Let's just pop me at the station in Skyden. That being said, why is there just, like, a random train that goes from the Murphy house to Skyden? Why is that? I am very curious as to the lore of that. Were they just that rich that they could just afford a train track going anywhere? Hey, and we're back. Alright, yep, we're back in Skyden, and we were told to go to the Shepherd's house, because there may be some hints as to... What exactly is going on with the Tree of Life back there? Uh, I don't think we need any more, like, armor or anything. I'm honestly pretty pretty much set, so... Well, welcome back to Skyden, everybody. We're back. So, I'm gonna go to the checkpoint that's around here, and I'm gonna rest there. And then, in the next episode, we're gonna go underneath the Tree of Life, we're gonna figure out what's going on, and potentially, maybe even finish the map. I know we're fairly close to the end. Uh, so, 
we'll see. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you did, please, please sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for another episode of Lux Perpetua. Goodbye, guys.